at the rate uh, any at the rate if it has double slash redirecting page rank of the url number of external links uh, embedded on the web page etc this approach could get up to 92% of uh, true true positive rate and 0.4% of false positive rate moving forward uh, we'll discuss about the advantages and disadvantages so the advantages for this uh, phishing website detection uh, is that the this system can be used by many e-commerce website uh, or any other website and we can have a very good customer relationship and uh, any any user can make online payment securely because he is going to use uh, our web uh, our web page so he will get to know if it's safe to use or not uh, the data mining algorithm used in this system it provides a better performance as compared to the other classification algorithms. And with the help of this system, user can also purchase online, uh, online products without any hesitation. So majorly disadvantages of our system is that uh, it, it works only if there is any network connection. If uh, there is no internet, then our uh, system won't work. And all the website related data will be stored in only one place. So uh, moving forward, ML model uh, training methodology. Here, uh, the data is firstly loaded. Then after that, the data is get is get filtered. So through 20,000 uh, 20, URLs uh, uh, containing data set. And in that we have separated, uh, uh, we got filtered like 10,000 legitimate uh, URLs and 9,000, 99 uh, 9964 phishing urls then after that uh, we have to clean the data that means uh, we are going to replace the none values with the mean values after that uh, normalization so the values are converted into zero or one and uh, after that we have selected 27 features uh, from which uh, from the uh, correlation algorithm on which our data set would be working and uh, for moving forward, uh, we'll, uh, we'll just uh, divide our training data set and test data set into 80% uh, of training data set and 20% of test data set. Moving forward, uh, website working methodology. First of all, whenever the user will come and put any uh, input, it goes through the feature extraction. And uh, we have already selected 27 of our features. Uh, including uh, lexical features, who is based, page rank, Alexa rank, fish based, etc. And it will reconfirm it with the database collection that is uh, phishing URLs and non phishing URLs. After that, it'll, it'll just uh, go through the classification that is, uh, what kind of ML model we will uh, going to use. That is, uh, it could be random forest algorithm. And uh, after that, it will just uh, give us the output of classified URLs. And based on that, we'll uh, get the performance evaluation. Uh, like, is it safe or uh, is it uh, malicious? We'll uh, get to know about that uh, after this. Uh, the components for detection and classification. There are basically four uh, components that are address bar based features, abnormal fe based features, HTML and JavaScript based features and domain based features. Here, the address bar features uh, will uh, will have the length of the URL or the identification of the URL. Uh, the abnormal based feature is for like uh, like the who is based uh, uh, data structure. The HTML and uh, JavaScript based features is for the layout of our uh, of the web page, and the uh, domain based feature is for like the background of our URL, what kind of URL it is. Uh, next is a uh, machine learning model use. These are some of the uh, machine learning models which we have already tested and we have got the maximum accuracy out of it. And uh, we have been using the random forest classifier because it has the accuracy of 93%. Rest is uh, a bit less than that. So we will be moving forward with random forest classifier now this is the features distribution graph where we can just see that uh, this is the legitimate 
uh, URLs and this could be the phishing website, uh, phishing URLs. This is all based on the 27 features uh, which we have selected like DNS report, domain age, domain end, etc. Now working up our uh, uh, phishing website detection uh, is that we have already collected unstructured data of the URLs from phishing website uh, like Kegel website and uh, Alexa website. In the pre-processing, feature generation is done where nine features are generated uh, and uh, from the unstructured. And these features are the length of URL. Uh, URL has HTTP, URL suspicious character, prefix or suffix, number of dots, number of slashes. URL has phishing term, URL has a subdomain, URL contains IP address and etc. After this, an unorganized uh, data set is, ma is made in which each detail incorporates the paired 0 or 1, which is then passed through the various classifiers. Next, we'll train the uh, six unique classifiers and analyze their presentation based on the exactness. At that point, the uh, classifiers identify the given URL dependent on the preparation information. That is, if the website is phishing, it prompts the user that the phishing is uh, the, that the website is phished, and if genuine, it prompts the user that phishing is legitimate. We look at the exactness of various classifiers and discover that uh, random forest classifier as the best classifier, and which is giving us the extreme most extreme precision. Uh, now, the future scope of uh, phishing website detection is. Uh, although the, the use of uh, URL lexical features alone has shown to high result, uh, high accuracy result, but uh, officials have learned to make how, uh, like, learn to make uh, predicting of uh, URL destination difficult by uh, carefully manipulating the URL to evade detection. Therefore, combining these features with others, such as host, it is the most effective approach. For future enhancement, we intend to build the phishing website detection as a scalable web service, which incorporate online uh, learning so that new phishing attack patterns can be easily learned and improve the accuracy of our models with better, better feature extraction. So like I would like to conclude with saying that uh, we cannot every time uh, you uh, like say to user that you, you should go through our website, it's based on his or her choice, whether he wants to be attacked or not. Like from our website, we can just give him a hint that uh, whether the website he's going to be, is going to use is uh, safe for him to use or not. So thank you. Any questions? Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Pradya. It's a nice yes, presentation. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, my question is, uh, if uh, uh, the phishing attack uh, come in my email and any other account, bank account, then uh, how would I uh, avoid or solve this problem? Uh, Ma'am, our uh, phishing website is based on the URL. If uh, if any email you have and it uh, it has given a link you you to click on it, so you can just uh, just tap on uh, just uh, copy paste it on our phishing uh, web on our page, and it will give a it will give you the result whether it is safe for you to use or not. So like if there is no URL, there is no use of our web page. So it was a good presentation. Any more questions? If anybody want to ask, okay, what is the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning? Sorry, sir. Difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. Can you tell me? Yes, sir. Like supervised learning is based on the uh, whatever we have already get the uh, structured data. And we do not have to, we have, we can use the uh, classification and regression models based on the, uh, based on the ML uh, models. And 
unsupervised unsupervised machine learning is like uh, when we are when we are using any unstructured data we do not have any idea we can just uh, we can just uh, use our uh, uh, models to train uh, train them and uh, test on it uh, the data set okay good so thank you pragya the next paper id is 127 Two seven. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Shivam Bajaj. Yes, sir. GPT. Yes, sir. Am I visible, sir? No. Now share the GPT. My GPT is visible, sir. Yes, it is visible, sir. Hello. Good afternoon to all. my name is shivam bajaj a final year student of jit college and here i am presenting a ppt on a research paper on a topic fin hotel a multi purpose online hotel reservation system with different functionalities i would like to thank ms garima sharma assistant professor of jit through his guide guidance because he is our mentor and followed by our group members like saurabh chauhan sanigiri and shubham lavaniya Firstly, what is fin hotel? Fin hotel. It is a term. It is comparison of two types like fin hotel. Fin means fine. Hotel means hotel. Like it is an online hotel booking system which is used to book the rooms by help by the help of internet or by accessing the help of internet. Why we want to means like develop or we want to study the hotel online booking system because this will replace the manual booking of booking of four hotel rooms because the fraud done by the like receptionist etc due to which the manual booking system like fails due to the ease of the user we can use to develop the online hotel booking reservation system like what are the source of reservation like who can book the hotels like the guest reservation guest can book the hotels of different different market segments like families like uh, college student trips like office peoples like uh, some clients include like travels like the guest who can return to the hotel like foreigners etc next it what are the advantages of this system why we want to build that this system and why we want to research it because it save the times of the customer and it can like quickly reserve room or the book room like due to the availability of the room the app is user friendly because because uh, means like uh, it can be run on the like tablets phone laptops etc like less chance of human errors and like e email reminder option is there like it will remind through the emails and a report generator things should be there it is an user defined screen networks like with the website is user defined and it has ability to create the extensive guest history with record like guest stay address preferences etc like what are the disadvantages of this like we can say there are not many disadvantage like mainly disadvantage is that you need a internet access when we go like people will, will go to the remote area then there are the less chances of internet access and through they can be like uh, they cannot access the internet and they cannot book the like hotel by the online and like in online system you need to influence the customer and uh, you can avoid booking system that brings like uh, not a good quality to a customer like what are the hotel booking system options like we can say internet ba internet based booking system we can say like by the help of the web pages like uh, by the help of the apps we can like login or or visit to the hotels to book the like phone inquiry the phone inquiry is used like this is we have current current pre existing internet site or information page of the web where the desktop and actual hotels works next it what is the present scenario like we can say what is the present scenario that that will be the in the market and we have research about like uh, technology advancement is there which play a significant roles in the operation of hotel management or in the hotel booking apps like technology which have individual shifting more away to the like internet working sites 
like uh, hotel booking engines which can help to the relevant data over uh, booking widget they significantly help user in the cost efficiency and effortlessly increase the productivity like it can also the increase the like income sources for the manager of the hotel and for the hotel working sites next it how this this hotel booking works like what are like firstly we want to like login login register on the page after registering we can login on the page after login login on the page we can like search uh, search for the hot, different different hotel in which we want to book the rooms after that we want to select the date from which date to from which date we can book the rooms like we can book three three bedroom four bedroom like like in this way after doing that we can make a payment payment validation request means we can doing payments like by online like paytm phone pay google pay etc after this a booking request confirmation will be generated and a email sent to be as a confirmation email in this way we can like uh, book the rooms like what are the required technology use in this like in this front end technology like react js boot bootstrap bootstrap and stripe are used what is react js react js is a framework of java like it is used to develop a ui design based and it is used to develop a single single web page application what are bootstrap bootstrap is a combination of html css and and as a script and what are stripe stripe are used like in the payment section option and next we want to work like on back back end technology what is back end technology like node js and node js and database mongodb you know what is node js node js work as back end and front end both but we can use node js as a back end back end technology in which various apis are used to are used to trigger the hotel so like various data are used to trigger the hotel so like payment option etc and mongodb database are used like it is used in no sql no sql type database and mongodb database are used as a unstructured database in it and it can like uh, generate or it can like like uh, it can record the data like password like uh, app information like hotel hotel information like uh, email id user etc what are the benefits of of this website why we want to research and what are the like brand awareness is generated like uh, if we are like uh, example the lalit hotel etc like this we want to book then it can also generate the brand awareness like source of information is there and in it increase the direct booking and sales and it better show showcase the different different hotels like rooms facilities etc it serves many group travels like with foreign travels etc next is home page of the website like in home page like first we want to search the location that what what location we want to search for the hotels then after searching location start and end date like from which date to from which date then after that we want number of beds like two bed three bed etc and after that the dashboard page is there where we can like do the payment option and and in this page our hotel is shown that which hotel and how for how many person the hotel will like room will booked and after that what is the scope for future work like we can say means the it the online system that currently are there that they make the reservation date within one year and they cannot reserve the room for room for per visit but this can, limitation can be removed in the in the future and by our website we are thinking that and in future improvements we can generate like care facilities car rental facilities like vacation package and like uh, some spaces like the person who do not want to book the rooms but the person want to like uh, like store the store the suitcase like etc then the person should provide a room to to it and like the some uh, real time real world online facilities should be available in the, in which they, there are many system which cannot afford it like we can offer the vip membership operations like the person who visit visit the our website or website within like a, a year in many times then we can provide the vip membership to it that's all from my side
Shivam, how is your project different from the other projects? What are the new things you have added here? Like, like sir, we added a facilities because we like we have research that many of the many of the travels and many of the persons like feel difficulty in going to the hotels like from our project and like we will we will generate one page where cab facilities should be there like if a person should be on the railway station or on the like uh, airport then he, he then the app should focus on the like website should focus on the booking the like cab facilities so that it can book booked it and the person should reach to the hotel and next is the vip membership that we provided vip membership means like the person who who may, are many times visiting to our hotel are like, are like means given to the vip membership and we saw many like other different types apps and we find that it is difficult like it is not portable and it is not user friendly user friendly apps like sometimes the payment option has occurred due to the internet and international payment system should not be there like we can provide a room in which like the person should if the person should not book the room then the person should provide a room like in which the person should like uh, drop their suitcase etc so in this way our Hello, hello, Shivam. Yes, uh, Shivam, I just want to know. Uh, you are saying you are providing some uh, other uh, yes, facilities like uh, uh, for being the suitcase and uh, cab facility. Yes, so yes, for yes. this, uh, you are type with uh, the hotels or uh, the cab uh, applications, or you are providing the uh, your own. Ma'am, like we are, we are providing our own facilities because we are like a third party app because we are not directly contact with the cab services or etc. We are providing it directly by like by. So it will increase your. Uh, it will increase the cost. Yes, ma'am. But, but but ma'am, this time we cannot provide like to the more kilometers like up to the like 10 kilometer or 12 kilometer from the destination but you need some uh, equipment na like a car yes, and something uh, other infrastructure yes ma'am yes ma'am ma'am yes yeah, yeah we are thinking about it ma'am and like implementing about it okay and uh, in future uh, you are designing this website so, uh, which uh, front end and back end uh, technology you are using? Ma'am, I am using like React JS as an as front end technology and back end technology and Node JS. Why? Why only this? Ma'am, because in this time, in this scenario, the web and technology like React JS is a, like it provides the more more user like UI designs technology. And by using the Node.js, like it is more comparison better than the Java Java technology because we are also using the MongoDB database. So by like we can say no SQL, no SQL is requirement and like on the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. But I can stop sharing now. Am I audible? Am I audible to all of you? Yes, you can leave now. Be prepared. Yes, even, even 37. Are you there? Sir, so 129 now, sir. Okay, 129. Okay, continue.
सर एम आई ऑडिबल है एम आई फिजिकल यस यू आर ऑडिबल ठीक यस सर सर होस्ट डिसेबल अटेंडेंस ओके आई विल मेक यू आई विल मेक यू वेट अ सेकंड नाउ यू कैन शेयर यस Sir, is my screen visible? Hello, sir. Is my screen visible? Anyone? Is my screen visible? Can you please text it around? Yes, yes, yes. Share, share your PPT. Yes. Okay, sir. Share your PPT, Pratik. Yes, now it is visible. Make it full screen. Make it full screen. Okay. So first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Pratik Sharma. Me and my college friends created a project by the help of my mentors, Mr. Aishi Shukla. So it's a Uh, and the title of the project is customers needs it's a basically an e-commerce website and uh, as you know what's the customers and yeah, their needs is so to fulfill the needs of the customer we create an e-commerce website so here is an what is e-commerce commonly known as electronic marketing and it's just like consisting of buying and selling and goods and services it's the basics of e-commerce and coming back to its technology part we are just like working on a project customer needs so which is based on the monst monst stack technology where m stands for mongodb e stands for express js and uh, and uh, r stands for react js and n stands for node js so as you know e commerce website has two main aspects one is front end part just like the uh customers uh, viewing part and the second is the database so database we store our data in just like json format and just like uh, database including logins and sign ups and kinds of stuff and in our backend part we are using uh, uh, node js express js which is based on express js for creating a handful apis and certain operations like a uh, post uh, pop just like posting uh, data on the server and uh, uh, get 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 for getting and fetching that data through the servers and put and patch is just like for updating and uh, uh, deleting that data and in the front end part we using react js as handles our codes and just like interface we used uh, in react we used hooks for handling functionalities and uh, that have certain so uh, use states or used contexts and functionalities and just like use reducers and used callbacks and used memos there are certain types of functions in react js and uh, and is also one of the most important topic use references used for use reference too and and for the ui part UI part we are using React packages and dependencies for uh, just like styling we are using for CSS3 and uh, for colors animations and uh, designs. The process of e-commerce now, uh, just like in compiler design, there are seven processes in which you can just like uh, go through the codes and compilations. So the process of e-commerce is similar to that in which you just as a buyer you can just like search and identifications of the products from which you can identify and search the desired products. And from second on, you can just like select and negotiation just like select and negotiate that stuff. and from now on you can just purchase through just like various payments methods and just like food step there is in product and service deliveries as you know service is just like in a traditional way just like do to do stuff and uh, just like keeps around that stuff and coming back to the project's main features every 
every features of uh, just like uh, has got their menu card just like for example when you go in a restaurant there's a menu card for that in which you can use and that stuff and just like chinese and kind of stuff so there is an catalog browsing and category lists based on that on products list um, you can use and type it around and just go for that and catalog management is that just like uh, uh, formal t-shirts and just like a category and a catalog maintained by me and my friends and just like product browsing and there is a product reviews for that and related products just like formal t-shirts and uh, there is a kinds of t-shirts just like polo t-shirts and denim t-shirts and just like um, from that on the, the customers who are, which they can get their product needs to be in this designs in a very manual way from that on there is a checkout and there is an auto generated bill and from now on the last step is payment gateway so coming to its data flow diagram the data flow diagram as you can see there is an interconnection between sellers and customers maintained by website as administrators so customers need to get purchase retrieve purchase and details and desires products informations based on the visitors there are sections in that for that and uh, product informations and easy shopping store applications through sales and just like sellers product information and as a web website administrator the website has to be managed and website accessibility needs to be done now coming to its advantages of an e-commerce e-commerce have several benefits for that faster buying and selling procedures as well as to find products as you know there are 24/7 deliveries and uh, one of the e-commerce website is that it has just like a low startup cost and it's like uh, physical retail stores have to pay up uh, thousands of uh, dollars to rent uh, one of these stores you can say so there is no need for that and more reach to customers there is a uh, no theoretical geographic limitations as you can see branding is also cheaper with e-commerce you st your store logo is more often in just like affordable for that and often cost less with an offline just like paint jobs and just like uh, you can say advertising on a local manner another advantage of e-commerce is just like online stores are always open as you as i mentioned buying and selling uh, just like uh, for example facebook ads youtube ads whether you can just browse around in uh, night time even in night time the physical locations just like occupations are not present in that that's the main matter and no need of physical company setups and just like easy to start and manage a business just like me and my friends doing disadvantages of e-commerce just like everything has got their pros and cons these had needs to be done unable to examine products personally these had to be rectified just like an uh, app building develop building an e-commerce website we need to use just like uh, uh, we need to maintain the products personally so if you if you if you get personally hang it around not everyone is just like connected to internet this is a possibility of credit card and number theft mechanical failures can cause unpredictable effects on the total processes so there is an graphical user interface in which you can just uh, there is an signing option in which you can enter your name just email address and passwords and confirm passwords where you can register and just like stop around that stuff there is a main tile in which i just got a search for similar t-shirts types based on the levis shirts sample name prints and sample t-shirts on that and just there is a card and an ad been meeting by ad been and just like no seller found right now <laughs> i need to get that thank you any questions and um, if you have any question please ask you know, how is your project different from the other projects what are the extra features you have added in it 
extra features is that just we create and just like you can you uh, building and customer relationship management as you know uh, as you know so there is a customer relationship management is everywhere your brand is your purpose i mean just like as a brand making the purpose of making is just like a reliable customers you can say so customers love a great user experience if someone gets to offer a great service then customers needs to keep on pushing periodically so that's the main motto and that's the want i want to try to improve myself and as you know transparency builds trust for that so i'm sure i'm sure about making a trust for that yeah. what is your future work future work ma'am um future work in this project or ma'am in something like other sectors nahi no, related to this work this. what is the methodology to implement a methodology ma'am based on which ma'am technology or non tech ma'am sales or just like something technology ma'am technology ma'am we can use as i mentioned earlier we use mongodb and just like backend developer and react js for the front end so just like as the database is growing upwards so we can just script to javascript or any other languages which are compatible and which are much more efficient for that so pratik you are using react js no yes what exactly react js is is it a framework or programming language library or what it is ma'am react js ma'am is a javascript library ma'am for building user interface you can say basically you can say and ma'am you ma'am it is used to be a single based applications ma'am it's allow you to create something like a single applications here. okay who developed it ma'am by uh, ryan something like uh, developed ma'am no idea about that ma'am i think it's first developed in 2007 or 2009 something for the biggest kind okay i was asking about the company okay no problem i'm javascript you can say javascript something no idea i just okay, use no it no problem it. get the knowledge about it okay okay ma'am definitely okay thank you pratik hey, you can leave thank you ma'am Okay, the next paper ad is one thirty. We give an deal now. One thirty paper ad is one thirty. Am I audible, sir? Yes, you are audible. Let me see. Sir, my is my screen is visible to you? Making you pause. Wait a second. Sorry. No, oh, now you can share the PPT. Now you can share. Share now. Now. It's in. Uh, now, now you are visible. Now you are uh, visible here. PPT is visible. Okay, sir. So, Good afternoon to one and all present here. I'm going to present a research paper on the topic fault detection, di distributed fault detection mechanism. WSM. On the video, Aditi. Turn on the video. Yes. One second. to continue so now now your visible is continuing okay thank you sir i'm going to present a research paper on topic called distributed fault detection mechanism wsm i would like to thanks mrs ayush shukla ma'am support to support us and followed by group member me atriti sharma 
Jui Kumari and Nidhi Jain. Nidhi Jain. Now let's start with the content. Yeah, content. Content followed introduction, objective and methodology, fault management mechanism for WSN, fault detection and diagnosis, fault recovery, methodology, WSN architecture, fault detection technique, application of WSN conclusion. Introduction. A wireless sensor network is a collection of uh, sensors not organized into cooperative network. WSN are used to collect data for the environment from the environment. A sensor network consists of multiple detection stations, wired sensor nodes, each of which is small, lightweight, and portable. The nodes in the networks are connected via wireless communication channels. Each node has the capability to sense data, process the data, and send it rest of the nodes to base station. These networks are limited by the node's battery lifetime. Every sensor node is equipped with the transducer, microcomputer, and uh, trans receiver and power sources. The transducer generate electrical signal based on sign, physical efforts, and phenomena. The microcomputer process and stores the sensor output. The trans receiver, which can be hardwired or wireless, re receivers command from commands from a central computer and transmits data to the computer. The power for which for each sensor nodes is derived from the electric utility or from a battery. Objective and methodology. Objective. Mostly WSN are used for applications such as military, surveillance, and disaster monitoring. We, pur we purpose a distributed localized fault sensor detection algorithm where each sensor identifies its own status to be either good or faulty. The node senses data from environment and sends these data to the gateway nodes. Methodology. Sensor networks are developed in hostel, host life and harsh condition. Example, rain, snow, wind, thunder, etc. They are such capital uh, to frequent and unexpected errors, occurrence of fault during normal operations results in hard consequences, involving loss of human lives, economics, and environmental loss as sensor networks are used people in safety. Detection, uh, <laughs> detecting the activity of volcano malfunctions, malfunctions and gives incorrect reading might result in unneeded pan panic or loss of lives due to absence of bond. Fault management mechanism for WSA. In this approach, a new fault management mechanism was proposed to, de to deal with the fault detection and recovery. It proposed a hierarchical structure to properly distribute fault management tasks among sensors, nodes, by heavily introducing more self-managing functions. The management mechanism can be divided into two phases, the time span of the fault and locality of the fault. Now, fault in WSN is divided into two parts, time span based and local span based. Firstly, we can we see time span based. Time span based is again uh, divided into two parts, transistent and persistent. And uh, uh, now come to local based. Uh, local based is divided into data centric and the system centric. Data centric is divided into offset, gain, stuck at, out of bounds, spike, data loss, fusion. System centric is divided into calibration, battery failure, hardware failure. Fault detection and diagnosis. Detection of fault in sensor nodes can be achieved by two mechanisms uh, that is, self detection. Or, or we can call it passive detection or active detection. In cell detection, uh, sensor nodes are required to periodically monitor their resi uh, residual energy and uh, identify the potential failure. In this scheme, we consider the battery depletion as a, as a main cause of nodes sudden death. A node is, is termed as failing when its energy drops below the threshold value. 
self detection is considered as a local computational process of sensor nodes are require less in network communication to conserve and conserve the nodes energy to efficiently detect the node sudden death fault management system employed an active detection fault recovery after node failure detection as a result of self detection or active detection uh, sleeping nodes can be awake to cover the required cell density or mobile nodes can be moved to fill the coverage hole a uh, cell manager also appoints a secondary call manager within its cell to act as a backup cell manager cell manager and secondary cell manager are known to their cell members if the cell manager energy drop below the threshold value uh it then sends a message to its call uh, its cell members including secondary cell manager in activation detection in active detection cell manager asks its cell member to send regular basic to send their updates such as the cell manager send gets message to the associated common nodes on regular basis and in return nodes send their updates this is called in cell update cycle like here it is wsn architecture um, like these red uh, these red circles are sensor nodes and all these red uh, sensor nodes are connected to the one gateway and one gateway is connected to the base stations uh, by using by through gateway we can uh, all the data or check our nodes from base station application of wsn area monitoring it is a common application of wsn here the wsn is developed over area where some event is to be monitored a military example is the use of sensors to diagnose enemy innovation environmental monitoring wireless sensor networks have been developed in several to be observe a accumulation of dangerous gases for citizens medical applications sensor networks may also be widely used in healthcare uh, structural monitoring wireless sensor are used to observe and analyze the movement within large building and infrastructure such as bridge flyovers and etc traffic monitoring the sensor nodes has a built in magneto um, resistive sensors that measure changes in the earth's magnetic field caused by the existence or passive passing of vehicle in the nearness of the nodes exact individual vehicle speed can be calculated and reported placing two nodes a few meters away in the direction of traffic now conclusion in a faulty sensor detection algorithm where each sensor identifies its own status to be either good or either faulty and the claim is to be supported to a reward by its uh, neither as they also evaluated the node behavior the probability of uh, a faulty sensors being diagnosed as good or good sensors not being diagnosed as good are very low the outcome of the distributed localized faulty sensor detection algorithm that each sensor identify its own status to be either good or faulty they can easily uh, identify by its own and the claim is then approved or configured uh, conciliated by its neighbors as they also evaluated the nodes behavior the outcome of the simulation result will show that the time consumed to find out the faulty nodes in our algorithm is relatively less than that of then uh, other approaches thank you yeah kriti Good Monta ma'am, please ask any question if you have any question. Monta ma'am, it was a good presentation. So can you elaborate accurately how this architecture is different from the other architectures? Yes, sir. We use the. 
in this we use the distribution method which is work on uh, by using mean mode and uh, median method in uh, yes because we use distribute method that's why it is different from others what is the meaning of distributed system sorry what is the meaning of distributed system distributed means uh, um, distributed uh, also known as a spaced repetition the space efforts or space practice is a learning strategy where practice is broken up to into a number of short sessions over a large uh, of time Today, so what definition of distributed system? I think you are telling something else. What do you mean by distributed system? Distributed system means so uh, in which uh, we are. Uh, means in this uh, distributed system, we use mean, median, and mode, and uh, in this. Uh, okay. So. Hello. Yes, yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, Akriti, uh, what are the characteristics uh, which define the performance of WSN? Ma'am, characteristics of WSN. Like in this, we don't need to go uh, and check the faulty nodes. Wireless sensor. Okay, it is wireless sensor network. Uh, so uh, you are uh, finding that the fault is the uh, node now. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, in this we don't so, need to go and check manually. No, I I understand. You the uh, but I am asking what are the characteristics? Other characteristics. Uh, on the uh, on the basis which you are saying it is faulty or uh, it is okay or not some performance parameters are there na yes ma'am ma'am like very if it uh, fault if it is going to fault then okay, we can okay. manage by using by computer Okay, thank you. Agriti, you. Thank you, Agriti. The next Friday is one thirty one. If you any question, you can ask. If anybody is asking, I am going to ask him any question. Ah uh, yes, Agriti, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you talked about the sensors here, no? Yes, ma'am. Can you differentiate between the active and passive sensors? Ma'am, active sensors is like a, a, which is a, can recover by themselves, and passive sensors is like a, a, which is a, 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 which is used uh, someone other or by passive sensor is like uh, we need to check that. Okay, GPS is what kind of sensor? Sorry, ma'am. GPS. Yes. What kind of sensor it is? Active or passive? Ma'am, active sensor. Okay. Can you tell yes, any other examples of active sensors? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, like the uh, yeah. transmit sing a signal. Exactly. Ultrasound. Uh, ultrasound is emit a pulse. Okay. 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 Thank you. 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 One thirty-one. Hello. Hello. Soja. 
Yes, sir. Am I visible? Hello. Are you going to share the screen? Are you share the screen? Are you? Yes, sir. Visible. Hello. Share the screen. Yes. Okay, so uh, good good afternoon, one and all. My name is Ayush Kuria, and I am from like UAB UI Library Project. Uh, I will thank Mr. Hemant Mittal for uh, like uh, providing their guidance. Uh, we are like four team members. Are me and other than me is Kurdos, Dev, and Nikesh. So we are creating this uh, project called UI Library. So. Uh, first of all i will like to give introduction like what is the problem or what is the like uh, general thing which happening like nowadays and why we are creating this project so the thing is like creating like a uh, lot of developers are like there are two ways like uh, you can write a front end we are talking about only front end or because we are we are uh, dealing with ai so lot of developers like to use pre written codes like uh, creating a website from scratch is like not always a good idea a lot of developers use their own previous codes or they create their own sample templates and like they use pre written codes so they, we have a lot of tools uh, for that so what pre written codes are like if we want to create some components like rather creating it from scratch we can get that code and we can like edit it because like we know how it works but like writing a lot of codes again and again is not is like time consuming and like we can have bit error so we can we can like then we have to debug it but if we are using pre written codes we can like the chances of having an error is very less so it saves the time it, uh, and like uh, it is like code quality is always better because we are using a standard libraries and then the thing is like uh, the now the problem is like as the people started using <coughs> mobile phones and different devices uh, like uh, in earlier days if we say like there are desktop so mostly website mostly uh, all the websites are used to be run on desktop now then the smartphone like mobiles came into the picture now website get more traffic from mobiles than desktop now we are having like different side like tablet uh, like watches in like many cars we have like uh, uh, like android tvs and like in cars we also browse uh, like internet so uh, like creating a website for like different screen sizes is also another challenge so uh, using pre written code is like a good good idea so uh, so uh, what what is like uh, what we have done is like uh, when we like skim through a website so there are like we can break down it into simple components uh, pretty much every website uses these components and like those are headers footers like a big hero uh, component then we have like an about us page then we can have like contact us form i am taking like simple website examples not i am i'm not like uh, talking about a specialized niche website like uh, e-commerce or like uh, eco uh, like uh, Uh, ott platforms so these are niche websites we are not target our target is not those websites we are talking about like business websites which has like if i if i am a business owner so next thing is like uh, how does it benefits like website as i am a business owner in today's date like an online presence is must like if i am owning a business, business like uh, i am a, bus a local biscuit manufacturer or i am a, like uh, i am uh, like garment uh, manufacturer or anything like i will always like uh, like uh, those those days are gone like people contact addresses or those things first of all i, I want to know who created this product who is providing this service uh, service product or service then i will like first try to check out his website so online presence like uh, grows the business and uh, like uh, grow helps in growing our businesses so that's why we need uh, websites so uh, what are basic uh, like uh, things for ui development of a basic website so first of all what we do is like we we create and collect the data like what i want to display on the website so i want to like 
give my product images then what i want like header tab so we can have like about us like more of us if we are want like joining or order so we can have header then what i want to show like my products what i want like i want to give a contact form so if anybody is interested in any way like if he wants to order my products if you want to take my service if you want like he want to give some service which will benefit my uh, business like if somebody is there who is providing seo services so he can also contact not only like uh, i will provide the service so i can give uh, contact us form then we check like responsiveness of the website like how it is looking then we do the demand analysis like what are the exact components which we need actually like uh, when we try to fit the content we always like uh, fill the website with a lot of contents and like uh, then we design and develop the product like it is only ui process like development process of front end part i'm not talking about back end and these things then like uh, we have using uh, we are using uh, javascript javascript and like what we are providing you is html css and javascript i will come that how we will provide but the thing is so html css and javascript so javascript is the thing like uh, every like every web browser supports javascript like every website uh, is enabled with javascript without javascript we cannot add like functionality without javascript the website is not uh, interactive so uh, css is like basically what uh, like uh, we define the structure with html but with the help of css we like put life in it uh, how it will look how it will feel like uh, adding those Uh, color uh, shadows those animations and things are done with css like uh, what like advantages of pre written codes i have already like told you like uh, it saves the times it enable cross browser functionality because like uh, there are codes which does not support on older browser or some versions of the so if we have pre written css so uh, we don't have to worry about uh, what are the uh, other things uh, okay so the thing is where we fit what is our product so this is our uh, like mock up of our product so the thing is what we provide here is uh, like uh, we provide something like this so we can select the component like from here nav bar so we will provide you a lot of nav bars so when you click on a nav bar so we you will get like five or 10 options of navbar only a different type of navbar when you click on it then the below section you will get like uh, you can add things like we have home news contact and about if you want to add a fifth item you can add it if you want to change the color you can do it all the things which these things is inspired by like uh, when a, a first of all we are trying to uh, give a library like giving a small small component to user but that is the thing uh, okay uh, so where we fit is like there are two types of pre written codes if you want to double, if we don't want to like uh, create a website from scratch on ourselves then what we do is like there are basically two types of solution we use uh, tools like bootstrap and tailwind css which we uh, what they provide is like classes or components so we can use those component in our code so we have to create our website like we have to create our code base but we can use their like some part of code to implement some functionality if i want to add a beautiful button then i can use bootstrap button if i want to add a nav bar or something thing i can use that if i want to give like styling more easily i can use tailwind css and the another part is like uh, having uh, creating a website with bootstrap Uh, or like uh, shopify uh, shopify so what they provide us is like they provide us a functionality to create a store so we can go to their website or we can install uh, wordpress in our system and what we can do is uh, we can like uh, use those components and create our website so but uh, the difficulty like uh, these things are already present but what we are providing where we fit is like in uh, bootstrap like the people who are like very beginner or i i just want a single page application for my business i don't want to like get into i want don't want to get a developer to do this work so this we he cannot use a simple person or a person with very less tech background cannot use bootstrap or tailwind css 
and the if uh, then the uh, we came to bootstrap and uh, like the wordpress sorry wordpress then it is like difficult to install like there is lot of settings we have to do there are lot of uh, uh, like if you if you want to shopify or these things then what they do is like they have, we have to set up our store then we have to manage the things we have to be on their platform but what we provide is you come to our website you just select the component you just edit the component and these are inspired by like filling a form like uh, we want to make a website as easy as filling the form the changes you do will be reflected here this in this like preview tab and we have this preview button so uh, while when we click on this preview button we, like we can see our website on different devices like how it will look on mobile high how it will look on desktop in initially we will support only desktop and uh, mobile but uh, we will also launch screens like small for smaller devices or bigger devices like tv so uh, this is concept based on like what do you see what do you get so you can create your website this site and you can see this and what you can do is like generate code here is a, a button for generate code so when we click on generate code it will generate html css and javascript for your like uh, for your website so you can you will get a file just you have to upload it you just have to upload it and we are like uh, for the future of this project we are thinking of like integrating those stuffs also like uh, uh, you can deploy it on our server but that is like uh, very like if it, it gets good uh, reviews from like uh, market then we will uh, try to do that also like you can host our those product in our server also and we will charge accordingly so this is the thing uh, and the conclusion is like uh, Uh, creating like a lot of design uh, with scratch is not good idea or target customer is like less techy people who wants their online presence like uh, if i am like a startup i am doing a, i am an entrepreneur i want to release a new product so what i can do is i want a landing page so creating landing pages uh, we our project is ideal for creating landing pages so i am uh, like targeting those where wordpress target the customer who can where we can create e-commerce store we where we can create a lot of things our goal is not that we want a niche market where we can create a simple landing pages easily so uh, that's it thank you if you have any question you can ask me hello yeah you sir Yes, uh, if you have any questions please ask so ayush can you explain how what are the new things you have added in this project what are the extra things you have added that are totally different from the so, projects can you explain so the basic the main unique thing is like user experience first of all like i uh, the things are like pretty much same i have uh, taken the concept from like uh, resume builders and those things like filling a form is like equivalent to creating a resume so i have seen those things so i want to implement those things in website so how why cannot we fill a form and uh, our website is ready so this experience is new otherwise the technology i am using is react js on the front end so it is uh, like uh, basically a node js on back end so the uh, and the thing is uh, uh, the html css and javascript we will create website for in html css javascript only for the customer the, the code which is generated is in html css and javascript so the basically the key concept is like uh, creating the uh, fast and reliable and good looking website is our like usp okay so thank you ayush the next paper id is 132 paper id 132 yes sir kill kumar singh is are you there kill wait for yes sir you know you can share the screen share with the team yes sir
So is it visible? It's visible, yes. Right now. Come to the first slide. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon all. My name is Nikhil Kumar Singhi. And my research paper topic is an online e-learning platform using cloud computing and software engineering approach. So, here are my fellow students. Nikhil Chaudhary, Lalchan Pujapad, Panan Nunla, and our guide, Mr. Sohan Gupta, sir. So basically, what is e-learning? So e-learning is an e-learning system based on formalized teaching, but with the help of electronic sources. So recently, in the COVID situation, many, all of them shifted to the e-learning platform. That's why in the COVID situation, there is an e-learning tool also. And here, Cloud computing. Make it full screen. You can make it full screen. So is it full screen in my PC? Continue. So cloud computing is an on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power. And with the help of cloud computing, so that we can store our data in the cloud format, so that we, we can access our data from anywhere with the help of internet. So the features of cloud computing is server, storage, mobile, applications, database, and a private cloud, public cloud, and hybrid, hybrid cloud. So the private cloud enables or offers us uh, that we can choose ourselves. And the public cloud, that is basically we can access the information, and hybrid cloud is basically on private and public. So the cloud service part, so the cloud service infrastructure, platform as a service, and software as a service. These three services are in the part of cloud services, and we can access to the internet and to our third party providers. So these are the on-premises infrastructure service. Uh, we can manage application, data, runtime, middleware, and OS. And in the platform as a service, we can manage applications, data. And in the software as a service, we can all the all these things managed by the third party provider. So the role of cloud computing in e-learning is as cloud computing a flexible and internet-based data storage hosting service allows the learning providers to host their proprietary software over the network and it allows users to access e-learning content from anywhere with a network connection. So why should we use Computing, cloud computing for e-learning. Now it enables the educators to use cloud scalability, flexibility, and security to support the main paradigm of e-learning. So what is software engineering approach in the online e-learning platform is that a specific software is needed in almost in every industry, in every business, and for every function. So through that, we can need effective fixedness to happen as soon as possible. Software engineering is a systematic engineering approaches for software product application development. It is an engineering branch associated with analyzing user requirement, design and development, testing and maintenance of software products. The so software engineering is a part that we can associate whenever we deploy an application, its maintenance requires its uh, efficient properly work requires a design development at the part of its software engineering applications. Now. And here, e-learning advantage and disadvantages are the part of it. So advantages of e-learning is just it saves time and money, better retention, personalized learning, post effective, environment friendly. So advantages saves time. It saves time as it we learn through the internet. And the disadvantages of e-learning are as a lack of social interaction. We cannot socially interact with the fellow person because we are over the network communicated. Inaccessible to others, we cannot be inaccessible to others. Requires self-motivation, proper time management skill. It requires this much and focuses more on theory because we are on e-learning platform and this is a part of disadvantages. Thank you, sir. Sir, any question? Uh, 
हेलो हेलो यस निखिल यस सलाम आर यू देयर हेलो हेलो सलाम आर यू देयर Yes. Hello, yes. hello. Can you, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can you tell the future scope of this cloud computing? Then the future scope of cloud computing is that we can access our network from anywhere, information from anywhere, as from three services: cloud, infrastructure service, software, and platform as service. meaning of platform as a service so platform as a service we can manage the software data part we can manage and bring other applications third party access so what are the extra features you have added in this project anything you want to tell Sir, extra special customer. Sir, everything possible because of the customer that we provide to the end user. Every website or every application is doing the same thing. What is the different thing you have added in it? Sir, different thing is that we can provide the progress report and the result part. What was the student do it that? The next paper ID is one thirty two, one thirty three. Rupak Chauhan, one thirty two. Yes, sir. The paper ID is one thirty three. Yes, sir. One thirty three, okay. Yes, sir. Rupak Chauhan. Let me ask here. Yes, now you can share the screen. Share the PPT. Yes. I get full screen and start the video. Start the PPT. Okay. Can I start? Can I start? Hello. Hello. Yes, your screen is not visible here. Please wait. Yes, Rupak. Start. Start the PPT. Yes, you are on the first slide. Take it full screen and start it. Okay, may I start now, sir? So may I start now? Continue. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rupak Singh Chauhan, presenting a research paper on data science implementation in medical appointments to predict no-show, which was prepared uh, along with my team members, uh, Mayank Sharma. Raj Kumari Sorin, uh, Rashmi Kumari, under the guidance of Mr. Amit Gora, sir. Content. Content. Content that we are going to discuss. The contents that we are going to discuss uh, in the next slides are project scope, aspects, background, regions, solutions, uh, technology use, methodology, deployment strategies, call to action, challenges, and conclusions. So uh, this is the picture which is uh, depicting uh, if. Uh, If anybody loses his appointment, then uh, there may be a problem for uh, the medical industry. So, project scope. So, if a patient in medical industry uh, takes an appointment and for any reason he or she uh, was not able to take the appointment at the particular date, so it may create a set of problems for the medical industry because it deprives another patient the opportunity of getting treated. and secondly it contributes to the development of long wait, uh, long waiting list for dental services 
so understanding no shows and predicting them are keys to developing a proactive strategies in healthcare operations asset so patient uh, no show which is uh, the missing probability of uh, a patient continues to contribute to the rising healthcare cost leading to negative impact on the day to day operations of the healthcare system restricting healthcare delivery efficiency besides limiting quality healthcare access for all patients so uh, the demographic factors uh, particularly like age gender the time span of appointments and socio economic status of patients are the most influencing factors uh, on the patient medical appointment attendance uh, so five machine learning uh, predictive models uh, named the logistic regression random forest support vector machine uh, ada boost classifier and gradient boosting classifier world Built using the medical appointment no show data set after being updated for all possible type of nurses. Future researches may include other key factors affecting patient attendance to improve model performance. So background. So managing missed patient appointment represents a challenge for those working in healthcare uh, systems because if a patient if a patient uh, uh, takes appointment and uh, he not reaches at a particular time, so it creates uh, it it creates a problem for all the system. Which reduces its efficiency. So why it is important? It is uh, important because it is estimated that the no show can cost the healthcare industries more than dollar one fifty five billion a year. Reasons for no show. So no show means uh, the missing probability of an appointment for the patient. So there may be a number of reasons due to which uh, the situation of no show arises. uh some of them are transportation like people live in uh, the remote areas so a uh, transportation may be a factor due to which they cannot take uh, the proper appointment uh, they cannot reach to the uh, location uh their socio economic status is another factor and uh, the cost and uh, the communication gap between the uh, hospitals and the patient it may be also a reason uh, to missing the to missing the appointment for the patient solutions uh, so uh, the solutions to the problem of uh, no show uh, have the three stages uh, the first is to identify strong predictors that can be used in model so uh, the machine learning model which will be working on uh, the solution for this problem uh, so the two factors for this is uh, the waiting time and age because using the waiting time and age we can predict we can uh, predict the probability of a patient uh, whether he is going to miss the appointment or not and after that using ai model to predict no show before occurrence uh, so we implemented the ai models behind the scenes which will uh, predict the no show no show probability before the occurrence and uh, take proactive measures so once we uh, once we concluded all uh, all the no show probability so there are double booking and reminders so we can uh, send the reminders using messages and emails to the patient technology is used so uh, for the front end part uh, in this web app uh, the front end part consists of html css javascript and react js and the back end part consists of uh, python using flask and uh, anaconda methodologies uh, so the methodologies are uh, used to solve this problem are the data preparation exploratory data analysis data mining technique research framework uh, testing and evaluation and model deployment deployment strategies so web based deployment using flask so flask is an api of python which allows us to build up web application uh, so in this project we use a flask to deploy our uh, project because it is considered the simplest uh, simplest model that have a uh, good uh, good accuracy so we uh, save the model as uh, the pickle file and deploy it using uh, the flask framework call to action so uh, call to actions uh, double booking uh, double booking means uh, using the predictive model and uh, uh, once we uh, concluded the probability of missing the appointment after that we can schedule the more appointment uh, reminders so uh, once we uh, once we concluded the uh, once we concluded the uh, probability of missing appointments we can send uh, the reminders uh, through email auto phone or manual phone or text messages to the user to charge for a no show appointment and a better better interfaces uh, for scheduling and cancellation challenges so uh, there are few challenges that uh, that we face during uh, the development of the project which was the data collection because uh, data collection is uh, uh, is a very crucial part and uh, is not available easily 
so we overcame this by uh, by uh, uh, taking the help of internet and other sources to take all the data data simulation uh, data simulation was time consuming and it required tedious manual effort and subject matter expertise so our ai engineer uh, took the responsibilities of data simulation and uh, completed it well the current data set includes global relevant features and one of the challenge is the simulation of region specific factor conclusion so uh, uh, conclusion so uh, this is uh, our web app which solves the problem of missing the appointment so uh, the missing the appointment was a very uh, great problem in uh, the medical industries because because it loses the efficiency of the system and uh, also increases the cost uh, to manage all those uh, missing uh, all those missing so uh, so this web app uh, increases the efficiency of the healthcare industries and also uh, reduces the cost to manage all those attendances thank you any question what extra thing is we providing by this project uh, ma'am actually this project uh, uh, never fully implemented before so uh, we are uh, working on this project to uh, to build it the first time okay why did we choose the project um, in this field sorry ma'am why we choose this topic for your project uh, ma'am we choose this topic because uh, uh, because we were a team of uh, four people who are working in different domains so we were looking uh, for any uh, medical industry problem which can be bridged through uh, our engineering so we uh, we researched about the problem and uh, came to the solution that it can be a good problem because uh, various post uh, the various post was a uh, use a post was uh, expanding in medical industry to manage this problem okay any of you is related to the particular domain anyhow yes ma'am uh, it's my engineer i am the ml engineer in the project okay okay any other question sir okay can you tell what are the extra features anything else you have added in this this is different from other projects uh sir actually this project uh, never implemented fully before so we are uh, we are just uh, trying to implement it at the first time with the uh, 94% of uh, accuracy Yoko, thank you. Thank you. So we, this session is over here, technical session number two, and I invite all of you in this valedictory function of the Student International Conference on Data Science and Engineering Applications. I want to thank all the all the eminent speakers for giving us their valuable time, and all the session chairs, so that they they provided us their eminent knowledge, so that. the participants have learned new things about ai data science and machine learning in this valedictory function i uh, i welcome all of you i welcome our ceo sri naman kondoy kondoy i welcome our principal dr ais sharma sir and i welcome our hod uh, pradeep jha sir hod csc all the faculty members of jit group global institute of technology and i invite all the i welcome all the eminent speakers and all the session chairs also and the, all the participants so in the last i invite retro sir uh, pradeep jha mr pradeep jha for a word of thanks uh, thank you jakar sir can you hear me jakar sir yes yes you are audible sir thank you thank you for inviting jakar sir and i am just uh, finish uh, all the uh, paper presentation in the our conference uh, all the participate uh, in the present uh, present here uh, thank you for the presenting here now good afternoon all uh, thank you is such a prayer that can't be seen our touch 
it must be felt by heart. I feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a vote of thanks on a special occasion. Thank you. I would like to thank all the honorable, uh, honorable uh, uh, delegates who blessed us with their presence. I'm also very much thankful to all program advisory committee member and the invited speaker. World are not enough to thank their constant guidance and support to save the conference. I on behalf of the organizing committee convey deep regards and and hardly thank to our honorable vice uh, uh, vice chairman uh, chairman sir uh, Rajkumar Kondoi sir and I am also thankful the CEO uh, C Naman Kondoi sir uh, principal Professor I C Sharma sir and C Manoj Mela sir uh, executive director and Pravin sir uh, uh, vice president sir. They help us in the obtain the necessary administrative uh, uh, approval for the organizing the event. Thank you, thank you for all. My sincerely thank you, uh, Professor Deepak Demla sir, Dean JECRC, uh, uh, and Dinesh Yadav sir, Manipal University, Dr. Anuj Bhargav sir, uh, Dr. Anuj Bhargav ma'am, GLA uh, University, and Dr. Aditya Sina sir. Uh, Manipal City for excellent experience and promote new idea by delivering the state of art uh, lecture and support at the various states. I am also a very, uh, a very much thankful to all the faculties, colleagues, and non teaching staff members who always stand by the uh, and motivate us. I feel proud and thank you for the making this event successfully. Last but not the least, all the uh, session chair. Uh, Dr. Anuj Mathur sir, Dr. R.P. Kuswa sir, Dr. Ravi Hara sir, uh, 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 Lavlin, uh, Lavlin Kumar sir, Sohan, uh, Sohanlal Gupta sir, and uh, uh, Patidar sir, uh, Jakhar sir, uh, all the session chair, thank you, thank you very much for the uh, uh, attending the session chair and uh, uh, listen all the paper and uh, giving the advice for the paper. And also the thank for the technical uh, programming committee, uh, Dr. Sanjay Bansal sir, Dr. YK Kotwa, uh, Kotwal sir, Susila, Susila Mehla ma'am, Ghansyam Misra sir, SS S. Gua sir, Gautam Gunjan sir, uh, Sunil Sarma sir, Anil Chaudhary sir, uh, Naveen Jha sir, uh, Dinesh Sarma sir, uh, uh, Sriyanka uh, uh, sir, Abrar sir, uh, Mahendra Pajapat sir, and and also thank you to the Hamid Mittal sir, Mamta Sarma ma'am, Shivani Khandelwal ma'am, Pankaj sir, Ayushi Sukla ma'am, Dinesh Sarma sir, Kureshi ma'am and Rajinder Bedi sir. And also thank you for the Sri Agarwal ma'am, Santosh Kumar sir and Sudan Subhafi sir. All the uh, organizing committee and all the technical uh, program committee, we are also thank uh, on the behalf of the, uh, uh, behalf of the organizing committee Thank you very much for the successfully, uh, successfully, uh, event the successfully one. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jakar sir, for the inviting, inviting me the vote of thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you all the organizing committee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your vote of thanks. I want to again thank all the organizers and all the people. People associated with this conference directly or indirectly who helped us, who inspired us for the completion of this international conference and invited us. And who, I also want to thank all the participants for the active participation. So, the uh, certificates will be provided to all of you soon. So, from my side, uh, this is the end of this international conference, and I'm very much sure that. All the participants have learned a lot of new things regarding AI, machine learning, and data yes, science. Sir, you just, uh, you just uh, announced that uh, all the participated and all the present here, uh, we, uh, we will send the certificate on their, their mention mail. So please uh, mention course, that. We will, we will ask today, this is 16, so the date uh, today we have completed this conference. And uh, by 19 of this month, and in April, we will provide the certificates to all of you, all the participants. So thank you so much. And thank you so much from my side. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Jakar sir. And thank you all the participate and thank you all the organizing committee. Thank you. Thank you very much. And successfully end the event. Thank you.